Hey what's up guys this is Anip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Manjaro 24 and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for Manjaro. Now go to its official website and download the Manjaro ISO with your favorite desktop environment. For this video I'm going to download XFC. Now once you have downloaded Manjaro ISO file, go to another tab and search for Rufus. Go to its official website and download the latest version of Rufus. If you don't like Rufus, you can download any alternatives like HR. And we need this to make a bootable USB of Manjaro. Now insert your pen drive which is at least of 8GB and please make sure to back up your pen drive data before proceeding. Now go to your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the Manjaro ISO file which you just downloaded earlier. For partition scheme select GPT. Now click on start and this process is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part. So finally this process is completed. Now close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now select local disk C or any large partition and select shrink volume. Now give at least 40 GB of free space for Manjaro and after that close disk management and now it's time to reboot our computer and boot into the bootable USB of Manjaro. Now while your computer is starting, press either escape key or F12 key to boot into the boot selection menu and choose the USB option to boot into Manjaro USB. And make sure your secure boot is disabled in BIOS so you can look up for your system to disable secure boot. Now once you are on this menu, you can choose the option which says boot with open source drivers and wait a while and you will boot into the installer of Manjaro. So if you are on laptop, make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi and make sure the power is connected before installing Manjaro. Now first of all select your language, your keyboard layout and then your time zone for Manjaro installation. Now for partitioning, make sure that you are selecting the correct drive where you created free space. You can select from the top menu right here and then choose replace a partition and then you can see the free space which you created on Windows. Select that free space and you will see a new root partition for Manjaro. So click on it and click on next now enter your user credentials for Manjaro now it will ask you to install office suite or not I'm going to skip it and then it will give the brief summary of the installation and if you are okay with everything then you can proceed with the installation process is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part so finally the installation is complete now check restart now and close the installer and it will automatically reboot your system now while your computer is starting you will see this scrub menu to choose between the operating system and if you don't see the menu then go to the BIOS menu and change the boot priority to Manjaro so first I'm going to boot into Manjaro Linux to check if it is installed properly. So 
so as you can see we have installed Manjaro Linux properly so it's time to reboot and check if our windows is working or not So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you